Do you love to prove someone wrong? Well, take that feeling, mix it with science and experimentation, and you have the brand new show, Mythbusters The Search, and here to tell us all about it is Kyle Hill. Kyle, welcome to River City Live. Thank you so much, Mark, for having me. All right, so tell me about this show. I'm a huge fan of the original Mythbusters, so this is taking some sure. of that, but you are making some different things to it, right? Yeah, so I think the best way I can explain it is that Mythbusters was an institution of great science programming, and when it ended, and when the original hosts went off and, and continued their lives, uh, we wanted to continue the legacy of Mythbusters. I really think Science Channel takes that to heart. They want the next great science programming on their channel, and that's why I was brought in, because I'm a Mythbusters super fan, and I need to see more great science on TV. So Mythbusters The Search is the stepping stone into doing that. We didn't want to start Mythbusters from scratch again with people you've never heard of and you don't know who they are. I think that would be... I think that would be disingenuous, uh, especially to the fans. So with this show, it's specifically a reality show because we want to introduce the contestants, who they are, their personalities, their quirks, their enthusiasm, their skills, to fans of Mythbusters, new and old, to see if they have what it takes to be that next generation. I love the concept. It sounds amazing. Now let's start with this, okay? Every show, you have to start by busting a myth. So how do you get started on that? Where does that come from? Sure, so in, this is sort of an odd case but because we do have myths old and new on this show. So, for example, we have painting with explosives and needle in a haystack. But these are the kinds of myths that our contestants could feasibly improve upon from the original show. So this is more... The, the, the confirmation and busting of myths is very important, obviously, and we're all going to learn something, but we want to see if these contestants have what it takes to get to that point. Do they know how to test and to experiment, and can they do that? Can they make the tools necessary and do the experiments necessary to get to that point? The process of being a myth buster is more important than the end point, and that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I agree. And that, with the original show, that was a big part of it, the process, testing everything, mm -hmm. using the scientific method. So I love that. Now, let's talk about right. this. The STEM program in schools right now is huge. What are you guys doing to make sure that's a part of your show? Sure. So, uh, I mean, for me, as a, as a professional science communicator, getting young people interested in STEM, and I like to say STEAM because art is very, very important to this process as well, especially science fiction and, and popular culture, <laughs> it, it's, it's, cr it's critical to me that any show that I would be a part of has that element of inspiration, that element of diverse backgrounds of people, so it can show that you can do science too at home. You, the viewers, can do science and learn more about your world, and yes, even bust, bust myths. So on this show, the contestants have a very uh, a, a diverse background of, of genders and ethnic ethnicities and their engineers and makers and YouTube stars and PhD scientists, one from Florida, has a PhD from the University of Florida, mind you. Uh, so we want, oh, wow. uh, we, we, want, we wanted these contestants to have this set of skills because we want to show that anyone can get into science and especially anyone can get into STEAM. Uh, STEAM programs, and that's what I ultimately hope happens uh, because that is the legacy of Mythbusters. However well this show does and whatever happens with the, with the next show going forward, I hope it can have some of the same inspirational qualities that the old show did. Well, Kyle, I'm excited to check it out. Where can we go to learn more about it? So uh, starting Saturday, January 7th on Science Channel, 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time. All right, Kyle, thanks again for your time. Appreciate it.